The fifth episode of the season 7 introduced William and the Hunter brothers journey. Jamie and Claire stay at Ticonderoga, Roger's life as a father in Lallybrook, Brianna's adventures at a new job and Ian meeting his son. The good reasons to watch the episode as follows. For the first time, we see Roger exercising his fatherhood. The actor has a good chemistry with kids. Finally, we see him doing something useful, especially in raising Jimmy. Number 2. Brianna proving she doesn't give up on anyone she faced her co-workers at a bar. All sexually speaking, Sophie Skelton was better than previous episodes, especially at the end, in which she leaves a rock at Jamie's memorial that Jamie made her. Number 3. Ian meeting his son allowed him to see him in more dull facet, and he remembers how much his character and John Bell as an actor has grown. He was much better directed at this point. Best of the episode. Number 4. Chris Fulton as Rob Cameron was big hit. Just like that, we figured the new villain of the saga. The bad we feel though shouldn't be in the episode. Number 1. Unfortunately, being so attached to book 7 almost didn't show Jamie and Claire. In the course of the past, 150 pages of more get to refer to them, since in large part of the attention is directed to other characters which we find is unsettling, since Jamie and Claire are the main characters of the series. Number 2. Being a short appearance Jamie and Claire barely exchanged words and looked more impersonal than ever. Not a word or gesture of encouragement or comfort from Claire for Jamie as they treated him tiptoe in the fold. Not an ounce of affection between them in this time. We won't even say that they omitted to represent the intimate encounter Jamie and Claire have in one of the Ticonderoga gardens because of the lot of Puritan ladies scared. Number 3. The pen hidden in the old desk too suspenseful for such a simple scene. Number 4. Class Patient Excessive Care This character is the husband of the handmaid who falls in love with William's cousin. So you'll all know how irrelevant he is in the books. They should have put more scenes of Jamie and Claire lost instead. Well, if the sequence was logical, it was too heavy to watch. By the second half of the episode, everything looked slow, boring and flat. If the intention was for it to be heartwarming or interesting episode, they didn't pull it off. We would give 6 out of 10 for this season's episode. If you like this, like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.